Hey, I'm Guy Cimbalo from Uncued, and today we are at Shapeway's headquarters with their explainer in chief, Lauren. Lauren, would you explain to us exactly what we're doing here today? Yeah, sure. Um, my real title, just to clarify, I'm not in the C-suite, is a design evangelist, but I do a bunch of things. So we have a lot of educating to do in the 3D printing space. And uh, in addition to working with schools and education programs, uh, I've also been working with our team to develop very approachable educational content around how to use 3D printing and 3D design. Great. And so my understanding is that today we're going to see something that's incredibly approachable. Yes. So uh, we are kicking off a, a tutorial series where we're kind of riffing on the persona of Bob Ross, the painting instructor famous from his PBS series, Long Running. Uh, and the whole point of it is to kind of take his kind and gentle approach to uh, uh, something that is, you know, largely considered to be something that you need years of study and practice to become good at, paint, namely painting, and taking that same strategy and applying it to something that's equally uh, daunting, and that's uh, 3D modeling and 3D printing. So, yeah, we're going to uh, make an effort to make it approachable and friendly to anyone. <laughs> Tell me, Andrew, did you lose a bet? Uh, no, somehow uh, our, our wonderful PR manager, Elise, manages to, to trick me into doing these things. Um, I think it's fun. I think it's, it's, a, it's a cool way to uh, show people how easy 3D, 3D design is. Um, and I love Bob Ross. I, I uh, went to sleep a couple times listening to his Twitch channel, so why not? Fantastic. But so tell us what you're doing today here. So today I am using uh, Magica Voxel, which is a voxel-based um, program. It's basically like Minecraft, but minus all of the game parts. Um, to so minus the fun? Minus all the fun. Oh. Uh, no, it still has lots of fun because it's, it's really easy to use. Um, and you, you can make these cool, pixelated, um, QB environments. And, and so uh, we think that this is one of the easiest ways for people to get into 3D design um, because... It, it really simplifies all the decisions that they would be making in an otherwise more slightly more complicated program, but it's all the same thing. It's when, once you understand this, you can understand uh, you know, SolidWorks. I learned, I uh, studied sculpture in college um, and decided that that was uh, way too slow of a process. Uh, uh, I was doing stone carving at the time um, and it was great, but uh, it, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's very classical. Um, and I wanted to do something that was as fast as the way that I was thinking. So I taught myself how to 3D design. I was learning for uh, more of like motion graphics and video game design and things like that. Um, and then I heard about Shapeways uh, and, and realized that that was sort of the perfect merger between the, the two worlds. You know, Bob Ross, I think, is a, a, a great hero for art. So, so I'm, I'm glad to try to continue that legacy here. Excellent. Andrew, thank you very much. Thank you. So Lauren, for people who don't know, tell me a little bit about Shapeways itself. Yeah, so Shapeways is a 3D printing uh, service and community. Um, we basically offer the ability to print anything that you can design with a 3D software uh, in over 60 different materials and finishes. So most people are familiar with 3D printing in plastics, but we do steel, we do, I'm wearing a pair of silver earrings by one of the designers that uses our service. We have ceramics, we have various types of plastics, and all of them have their own applications, and we're sort of always interested to see what our community is doing with the materials that we make available to them, whether it's mechanical engineering, to game design, to product design, to launching a jewelry business. We are kind of a platform for all of that using digital manufacturing as the main engine around it. And what kind of specific roles are you looking for? At the moment, we have a really a few interesting positions. One uh, head of API and app development, which I think is really cool. Um, if you are prone to coding in uh, JavaScript and WebGL, um, which is a HTML native uh, way of displaying 3D stuff, I mean, basically, it would be your software uh, and your web interactions could end up as physical products in people's hands, which I don't think 
that opportunity has presented itself really anywhere else. We also have a UI and UX user experience design position as well as a lead engineer. So, we, we, and we're you know constantly growing and adapting to new needs of the business. So those kinds of positions are coming up frequently. Fantastic. And I guess that's at shapeways.com slash jobs, right? Yeah. Awesome. So if anyone's interested, that's where to find them. Thank you so much for hosting us today um, and for that very unusual experience. That was great. Thanks a lot. Thank you.